Alrighty, we are loading into Clubhouse for our Noodle vs. Coppers uh, matchup here. So, just to break down the rules really quickly, basically, if Noodle wins a round, Genna, who is our Copper player, adds in another teammate. Now, if Noodle wins another round, then Genna and his teammate gets another teammate, and so on. That continues all the way up to five players um, or until Noodle loses. So, if you guys recall, I did this video uh, about five or six months ago and i made it to five coppers and foxa did this video a couple months ago and he made it to five as well so we are hoping for the best here for noodle uh, everyone that's recorded this video has made it to five so we are hoping that noodle also makes it to five now remember if he loses a single round the, the whole the whole game's done the whole video's done everything's done noodle loses a single round it is gg so we're hoping he makes it at least a couple rounds in as we're going to have a very short video on our hands if he cannot. All right, so it looks like Genna has decided to go upstairs into the CCTV bomb site and he is playing as a Rooney. Rooney is not a bad operator at all for this 1v1. Uh, lots of utility that Noodle will have to clear. He is going to have to either waste his drones, take some HP, uh, his nades has gone six. You're gonna have to waste some form of utility or take the HP loss if he wants to clear those Rooney gates. Now, Noodle does have a good amount of utility, probably some of the most utility realistically that he could bring here. So, not a bad thing whatsoever. Gontek's gonna go out, gonna hop straight in through that new blue window. And it is still actually barricading and setting up his utility. So, this could be an easy push up for Noodle here if uh, there's no rotate, which I don't believe there is. Noodle could just walk up and get an easy wall bang here. Genna is actually just AFK. I, I actually, he's not even AFK. He's just standing still. I'm not sure what's going on here. If Noodle seizes on the drone, it could be an easy wall bang for him or even a drone hole kill, which is exactly what Noodle's going to try to do. Barely missing out on that feat. Wall bang's going out. Not quite going to get any shots with that, but Noodle going to wide swing and that's going to be Genna going down. That is one copper down. Hopefully four more to go. All right, we are loading into Clubhouse for our second round. Noodle has so far won the first round versus the first copper, and we have added in a teammate for Genna. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna shorten his name to Guild. Uh, I, I know it's not his name, but it's a lot to say, so I'm, I'm lowering it to Guild. Um, hopefully, Noodle can continue to win as he was before. Uh, now, unfortunately, the way that the custom games are set up, I, I cannot choose which rounds were won or lost by each team when it's the ranked preset there's certain presets for custom games um i don't know what the actual ranked settings are because they deleted my playlist with the new season so i've been using the ranked preset and i can't choose uh what operators were banned or what maps or what rounds were won so you guys are just gonna have to imagine that noodle is up 1-0 here and then they'll redo the map or the op bands for each round All right, so the two copper players have decided to go top floor back to the CCTV bomb site. That is where Genna just lost, but now he's going to have his teammate Guild. So we'll see if anything changes. Now, Guild is for some reason running impact grenades instead of a C4. So not quite sure why he's doing that, but we'll see how it works for him. As well as actually Genna does not have a C4. So both of these players running impacts over C4. A little bit strange, but uh, not that big of a deal. Now, Noodle has actually lost his first drone. So he is only down to one drone now, which could be a big problem for him. Information is key. I was actually just talking to him a few minutes ago, and he was saying how he doesn't think any of these videos are possible without drones. He said if he doesn't have a drone, he doesn't think he can win any of the games. And he is down to one drone here. So that's a little bit scary for him. I'm not sure if he saw this player in garage. If he didn't, that is round over. Looks like Z-Pings are going out, so he might have actually saw him. I'm hoping he did. It looks like he has by the way he's droning right here. Could be an easy nade kill. I don't think that Guild actually knows that Noodle knows. So Noodle's going to try to play it a little bit safe. Probably going to Z-Ping and then try to wall bang here. That's what I would do. Yeah, so that's what he's going to do. So Z-Ping's going out. Should be an easy wall bang here. Oh, just missing... A little bit of damage onto guild but not much a huge kill that uh noodle just missed here Valcam gone by guild interesting spot by him proning him the top of the stairs noodle actually still has two nades so he could try to nade the top of the staircase here 
Yeah, that's what he's going to do. He's going to try to nade here. Oh, nope, actually, he does not want to. Now, there is a Thunderbird, so Guild could go get healed right now, which he's chosen not to just yet. I'm not sure why he hasn't. You know, trying to use his last drone here to figure out where they are. He hears the Thunderbird. That nade's not going to get anything, though, as Genna is all the way in Garage. Both nades gone now. Genna is in Garage on the Raptors, just not really paying attention to anything, and he's going to take a lot of damage because of that. Now, both of these players can get healed by the Thunderbird, which is what Genna is going to do. Guild is trying to push downstairs. I think Noodle actually knows about that. A lot of damage going on to Genna, who's actually going to die. It is all up to Guild, who is actually going to be taken out by Noodle. Well played by him. Securing another round. And that means one more teammate is going to be added to the copper side. All right, we're loaded into round three right now. Now, keep in mind, the score is going to say 0-0. Like I mentioned before, I'm not able to actually change the round wins or the operator band, so we're going to have to redo it every single time. But uh, that gives the coppers a chance to adapt. It honestly gives them even more of an advantage because whatever Noodle does, they're able to adapt to it and fan out. So it just makes it even harder for Noodle, which is exactly what they just did. They adapted. I think it was too strong, so they're going to ban that out now. So Noodle's going to have to rethink his strategy. Honestly, like... This is, this is like impossible difficulty for Noodle right now. It is very, very hard. Um, yeah. All right. So the band so far, we've got the Finca from the Copper players. And we also have, let's see, no band from the Coppers. So interesting. Uh, great band from Noodle though. I like the Thunderbird. I believe Genna has been running a Thunderbird every single round. So that's good to have band out now. You don't have to worry about them regaining any sort of HP. No attack ban from him, so not a big deal as he's on attack only. All right, so they actually have Genna pulling out the Mira. Now that's going to be a big problem for Noodle. Um, it, it actually it could be a problem or it could not be a problem. I could see Noodle going underneath if Noodle's able to drone properly and he sees that they have a Mira. He knows where it's at. This actually could be a free kill for Noodle. All he has to do is go underneath, Z ping where the guy is standing, and floor bang him. Or he can actually use his uh, Zofia impact charge to open up the floor, do like 50 damage to whoever's sitting on the mirror, and then possibly even kill them. Um, so not not that bad of a idea for Noodle if he chooses to do that. And then we see a Thorn who's really not going to matter too much. Those traps are pretty useless. Honestly, I'm super disappointed with what Ubisoft did with Thorn, bro. She, her gadget's so bad. Interesting shield placement here. I'm not not quite sure what that's going to do, but we'll see. So we've got Noodle spawning over by Junkyard right now. He's got to take things slow. He has three minutes to work with, so it is possible for him to, to pull out this round still. It looks like they actually reinforced bottom garage this time. We saw in the last round that I believe it was Guild was sitting downstairs and almost got his head taken off by uh, a wall bang in garage. Taking a look at where the defenders are, we've got Thorn playing inside of uh, Rafters. We've got Guild on cams. Looks like he's in cash. And we have Genna uh, inside of cash as well on this mirror windows. Now, unfortunately for Genna, he placed the mirror windows standing height. You usually want to place these at uh, head height or um, crouch height because it's kind of hard for Genna to actually use these mirror windows. Um, and he can get shot very easily from underneath the mirror window so these these windows actually could be playing against guild and this team or again in this team but we'll see what happens blank claymore is going out from noodle just wanted to set up a little bit of a perimeter make sure he's not going to get flanked here smart by him minute 40 he still has plenty of time whether it seems like it or not the impact grenade going to go out that's his last one of the round that's going to be the underneath of that mirror window being taken out so that is very good by him. Now they're actually, Genna is actually inside of uh, Khan. And I don't know that, um, I don't know that Noodle knows that. C4 going to go out and that is Noodle being taken out by Genna inside of the construction room. Unfortunate. Honestly, that C4 had some reach on it too. But that is going to be GG's. That is Noodle losing out to three coppers. Three coppers seem to be just a little bit too much for him. Um, I think he would have had that if he had gotten some more gunfights but uh you know it is what it is let's uh hop into a call noodle and see what he thinks <laughs> all right yeah this kid is the best i want to do a little bit of a post-game interview with you so what do you what do you think their problem was there like like what do you, do you think he could have done anything differently or like what was what was the issue you think what me 
what I could have done differently. Yeah, like, like, do you think it was something you could have done differently, or do you think it was more so just they got lucky, or there was just too many of them? Like, what do you think happened there? Um, I think the setup kind of threw me off. I didn't expect a mirror there. Uh, I think that kind of uh, ruined my plan of going into construction. Mm. Uh, obviously, I didn't have uh, breaches, or I didn't have any more impacts left to open the uh, logic wall. So I was kind of forced to kind of funnel through one door. Right. Uh, Makes sense. Yeah. Well, well played. Um, <laughs> I, I was I was hoping you'd make it a little bit farther, but honestly, I think you could have won that round if it came down to gunfights. Like, you yeah. you won the first gunfight you had, and I, I'm pretty confident you would have won the other ones as well. But that C4 just coming out, but it, it sucks though. Like, not not having that information. I know we were talking about it earlier. Like, not not having someone drone for you, or just not having like teammates to help back you up. It, it's rough. Like, if you had info on that Mira close and con, like, I'm sure you would have played that slightly differently and probably would have survived. So, I think, it, I think it mostly comes down to just not having enough information. Like, one mistake with your drone and it's gone, and now you're completely blind to where three players are. It, it It's pretty much playing the game on, like, impossible difficulty. Yeah.